Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're tackling a topic that's near and dear to many of our hearts' retirement. We're diving into Bankrate's 2024 study revealing the worst states to retire in, and topping the list, or should I say bottoming out, is Alaska. We'll unpack why Alaska and other states landed in the bottom 10, examining factors like affordability, healthcare access, and overall well-being, all crucial considerations for your retirement years. Let's get started. Alaska, the last frontier, evokes images of majestic mountains and pristine wilderness. It might sound idyllic, but when it comes to retirement, Alaska presents some serious challenges, earning it the dubious honor of bank rates worst state to retire in for 2024. So what makes Alaska such a tough sell for retirees? First and foremost, the weather. We're talking long, harsh winters where temperatures can plummet to a bone-chilling minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Even summers offer little respite, with average highs only reaching between 45 and 75 degrees. And if braving the elements wasn't enough, get ready for sticker shock at the grocery store and beyond. Alaska's cost of living is a hefty 30% higher than the national average. Housing is particularly brutal, coming in at 17% above average. While utilities and healthcare costs will have you reaching for your wallet with prices nearly 50% higher than the rest of the US. Now, before you completely write off the last frontier, there's a silver lining, especially if you're watching your tax burden. No state income tax, no estate tax, no inheritance tax, and they don't touch your hard-earned social security benefits or pension payments. But for most retirees, the combination of harsh weather and sky-high prices makes it a less than ideal retirement destination. Before we continue, if you like the video, please support the channel by hitting the like button, sharing, and subscribing. From the frigid Alaskan wilderness, we travel to the bustling metropolis of New York City. While the city that never sleeps offers a vibrant cultural scene and endless entertainment options, it also delivers a one-two punch when it comes to affordability, making it a less than desirable location to live out your golden years. One of the biggest downsides is, you guessed it, the high cost of living. From housing to groceries to transportation, everyday expenses can quickly eat away at your retirement savings. Rent for even a modest apartment in Manhattan can rival a mortgage payment in other parts of the country. And forget about owning a car unless you have a hefty transportation budget. Another factor to consider is New York's tax burden. While the state does offer some tax breaks for seniors, overall it's not the most tax-friendly environment for retirees. Property taxes in particular can be a significant expense, especially if you're on a fixed income. Next up, we head to the Pacific Northwest, where Washington State, known for its lush forests, stunning mountain ranges, and thriving tech scene, might seem like an appealing retirement destination. But don't let the picturesque scenery fool you. Washington shares a common thread with our previous contender, New York, a high cost of living. While not quite as expensive as the Big Apple, Washington's housing costs in particular can be a deterrent for retirees. The Seattle area in particular has seen skyrocketing home prices in recent years, making it tough for retirees on a fixed income to find affordable housing. And it's not just housing that will strain your budget. Washington's overall cost of living, including groceries, transportation, and health care, is higher than the national average. Add in a relatively high tax burden, including a state sales tax and property taxes, and Washington's appeal for retirees starts to dwindle. California dreamin'? Not for your retirement budget. California, the golden state, conjures up images of sunny beaches, Hollywood glamour, and a laid-back lifestyle. And while California certainly has its allures, it's become increasingly difficult to afford the California dream, especially for retirees. Like New York and Washington, California grapples with a notoriously high cost of living. Housing costs in particular are a major sticking point. Whether you're looking to buy or rent, be prepared to shell out a significant chunk of your retirement income on housing. And it's not just the big cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles that are pricey. Many smaller cities and towns across California have also experienced soaring housing costs in recent years. 
Beyond housing, California's overall cost of living, including groceries, transportation, and healthcare, is significantly higher than the national average. North Dakota, not quite a winter wonderland for retirees. From the sunny shores of California, we journey to the Northern Plains, where North Dakota, known for its wide open spaces and agricultural heritage, might seem like an affordable retirement option. But before you pack your bags, let's consider why North Dakota landed on our list of worst states to retire in. One of the most significant drawbacks is North Dakota's harsh winters. We're talking blizzards, sub-zero temperatures, and icy conditions that can make it challenging, even dangerous, for seniors to get around. And if braving the elements wasn't enough, North Dakota faces challenges when it comes to healthcare access, particularly in rural areas. Massachusetts' high costs cast a shadow over the Bay State. Moving east, we arrive in Massachusetts, a state steeped in history, home to prestigious universities and known for its charming coastal towns. But for retirees, Massachusetts presents a familiar hurdle, a high cost of living. From Boston to Cape Cod, Massachusetts consistently ranks as one of the most expensive states in the nation. Housing, in particular, will put a significant dent in your retirement budget. Whether you're looking to buy or rent, be prepared to pay a premium. And it's not just housing that's pricey. Massachusetts' overall cost of living, including groceries, transportation, and health care, is well above the national average. Speaking of health care, while Massachusetts boasts a robust health care system, it comes at a cost. Colorado Rocky Mountain High Costs for Retirees Colorado with its majestic Rocky Mountains, world-class skiing, and thriving craft brewery scene might seem like a dream retirement destination. But before you pack your hiking boots, let's explore why Colorado landed on this list of least desirable states for retirees. One of the biggest challenges is, you guessed it, the high cost of living. Driven by a booming economy and desirable lifestyle, Colorado's housing costs in particular have skyrocketed in recent years. Denver, Boulder, and other popular cities have become increasingly unaffordable, even for retirees with substantial savings. And it's not just housing that will strain your budget. Colorado's overall cost of living, including groceries, transportation, and health care, is higher than the national average. Another factor to consider is Colorado's variable weather. Moving on to Maryland, a state brimming with history, waterfront views, and a strategic location near major metropolitan areas. While Maryland holds appeal for many, it presents some challenges for retirees, primarily concerning affordability and taxes. Maryland's cost of living, particularly in the Baltimore-Washington, D.C. corridor, can be a significant hurdle for retirees. Housing costs, both renting and owning, are higher than the national average, and everyday expenses like groceries and transportation can also put a strain on your budget. But perhaps the most significant deterrent for retirees is Maryland's tax burden. The state has a reputation for being tax heavy, which can impact your retirement income. Maryland taxes social security benefits for those with higher incomes and property taxes can also be a significant expense. Texas, the Lone Star State, often touted for its low taxes and affordable living, might seem like a retiree's paradise. But before you pack your cowboy boots and head to the heart of Texas, let's delve into why it landed on this list of worst states to retire. While Texas boasts no state income tax, a major draw for many, it's essential to look at the bigger picture. Property taxes in Texas are among the highest in the nation, which can offset any savings from the lack of income tax, especially for retirees on a fixed income. Another factor to consider is Texas's extreme weather. From scorching summers to unpredictable tornadoes and hurricanes, Texas's weather can be challenging for seniors, especially those with health concerns. And while Texas has a lower cost of living than some states on our list, it's not as affordable as it once was. Finally, we head north to Minnesota, the land of 10,000 lakes, known for its friendly people, beautiful scenery, and thriving arts and culture scene. While Minnesota has much to offer, it presents some challenges for retirees, primarily concerning its frigid winters and high healthcare costs. Let's start with the weather. 
Minnesota's winters are notoriously long and harsh, with sub-zero temperatures, snowstorms, and icy conditions that can make it difficult for seniors to get around safely. While Minnesotans are pros at winter living, it's something to consider if you're not accustomed to braving the elements for months on end. Another factor that can impact your retirement budget is Minnesota's high healthcare costs. And there you have it. A closer look at the 10 worst states for retirement in 2024, this list isn't meant to discourage you, but to equip you with the information you need to make informed decisions about your future. Choosing the right place to retire is a deeply personal decision, and it's about much more than just finances. Until next time, happy planning. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights and updates.